So this is video two in my series of how to build a low-cost FPV quadcopter. If you haven't watched the first video in the series on how to assemble the newer Alien X quadcopter frame, click the link in the description and go watch that video first. So this video number two is going to be about putting together the drivetrain system. Um, specifically, we're going to talk about power distribution, ESCs, and motors, and how to assemble those onto the newer frame. So here we go. First, we're going to install the Hobby King quadcopter power distribution board. I like this little board. It's ultra low cost. It comes pre-wired with an XT60 battery connector. It has connections for all four motors using 3.5 millimeter connectors. And it also has a JST connector for auxiliary power. So I'll be mounting it on the frame. And I've taken off the bottom frame panel and we'll be mounting the board upside down onto the frame like this. Included with the newer Alien X frame were some nylon mounts. So we're gonna install those first. First, we'll install them onto the board. They come in a couple of different flavors that came with the kit. There are nylon standoffs, nylon bolts, and nuts. So the first thing we're gonna do is install the nylon screw through the board and screw onto that the standoff. And we'll do that in all four corners of the board. And the next thing we'll do is install the board through the pre-drilled, correctly sized holes on the frame. There are holes to mount it square or to mount it in a diagonal like this. I like to mount it in a diagonal so the power connectors for each ESC are aimed relatively close to the arm that they'll be powering. So with that popped in, we'll turn the frame back over and we'll tighten down some nuts. careful when tightening the nylon nuts. You can tighten them too tight and strip them out fairly easily. So there you go, there's the power board attached. The next thing we'll do is we'll put the motors on. So the motors I'm using for this project are the Turnigy NTM 2830 prop drive. They spin at 800 kV. I like them because they're a nice, inexpensive, fairly reliable motor. And instead of having a main shaft, they have a short shaft and a cast aluminum top that I think is a lot more secure for holding propellers. So to install the motors, I've flipped the frame over. and install the first screw. Make sure you line the motor up. Uh, the motor bolt holes are keyed. And once you get the first one lined up, then it can kind of hold the motor in place while you line up the rest of them. And once you've got all four installed, you can go ahead and tighten them down with the motor 
bolts keyed like that, the motors are fairly self-aligning. And we just go around and do all four. So the motors are installed, they look good. The next thing we'll install is the ESC. For this project I'm using Turnagy Multi-Star 30 Amp ESCs. They pair up nicely with... And if you watched any of my other videos, these are the ESCs that I flashed with Simon K Firmware in a previous video. We'll put a link in the description. So again, we're working on the underside of the copter, so I will flip it over. So the first thing I'll do is install an ESC in each of the power outlets on the power control board. Keeping in mind polarity, there is a plus and minus denoted by red and black wires. So we just go all the way around the copter. So now that they are plugged into the control board, I like to lay each ESC out on an arm. And for these back ESCs, we'll just lay them out nicely on the underside of the arm and zip tie the body of the ESC right to the arm. That's nice. Do the same thing on the other side. Securing the ESC right to the underside of the arm. Now it's an easy task to just go around and snip off the excess zip tie to keep things nice and neat. Now we'll go out to the motor end and plug in the motors. So I like to just sort of keep my wires semi-tidy by uh, wrapping them around the frame a bit. I think what we'll do with this is we'll lace the ESC side through the frame and we'll lace the motor side through this landing gear. Same thing with the red wire. So there we go, that is tidy enough for this build. One thing to think about, there's a little bit of an area here where the shrink wrap doesn't completely cover the connector, and you don't want multiple connectors to be near each other and short one another out. So you may want to put a little bit of heat shrink over each connection. It'll both keep the connection secure and keep them from arcing. So here it is, the drivetrain of the copter is all assembled. We have a main distribution power board, we have an ESC, and a motor on each arm. 
In the next video in this series, we'll be installing the flight controller. If you like this series and my other multi-rotor videos, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.